Good Thursday morning, everybody. I'm Jared Klein coming to you live from the NBC 29 Digital Desk with a look at today's local stories. Let's start things off with the top stories over on NBC29.com. Coming in at number one, a heavy police presence in Charlottesville neighborhood. At number two, Virginia Department of Forestry asking you to collect acorns. Go over to NBC29.com right now to find out the reason why. And at number three, Barbersville man charged with murder. All right, let's get to our local stories on this Thursday morning. More information could be released in the coming days on a police raid in Charlottesville Wednesday morning. This is video from Cleveland Avenue near the Fry Spring neighborhood. State police appeared to be the primary agency on the scene, but NBC 29 has learned Albemarle County police were also involved at different locations in the county. Now we're told all this is part of a bigger federal operation targeting multiple locations. A Justice Department spokesperson declined to give us specifics on who was targeted, why, and how many people people were involved. There are mandatory water use restrictions kicking into effect today in Greene County. If you live there, it's due to the recent dry weather, which has led to low water levels in the Rapidan River. Those who use county water are prohibited from using water for plants, washing homes and driveways and filling up swimming pools. Those activities that you can skip aren't necessary. Those restrictions will remain in effect until further notice. Construction plans are moving forward on 1st Street South in Charlottesville. The city's redevelopment and housing authority has submitted a final site plan for phase two of this project. The 58 public housing units in this space will be torn down and replaced with 113 housing units, a clubhouse and commercial space. Many who were living in the existing units have already moved next door to the phase one apartments as they're being called. Project leaders say the goal is to begin construction around the start of 2024. And speaking of new houses under construction, a three year project between Habitat for Humanity and students at Green County Technical Education Center continues more than 40 carpentry students built this house you see right here and yesterday it was moved to its new location. The house was split in half as it made its way to a plot of land near Stannardsville. Habitat for Humanity says it will take seven months before the house is completed for someone to move into. So wow. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Yeah, they're it's able so to do that and then mm -hmm. move it to the site. Yeah, and I like that. A great education for those students. Maybe after school, they'll mm -hmm. be getting into construction. Right. They can already say, hey, I helped to build a house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so pretty That's pretty cool. neat. It's cool. Okay, so um, we almost didn't make it. Uh -oh. Humanity, that is, evidently. So scientists say they found evidence that around about 900,000 years ago, Humanity was almost wiped out. The, the human population dwindled to about just under 1,300 reproducing people. Mm. So there were only roughly 1,300 people in the world wow. 900,000 years ago. That's kind of crazy. So around 98.7% of human ancestors were lost, according to this study. Wow. And the population stayed that small for about 117,000 years. But you know, we're like cockroaches. We come back. Yeah, we, we're still <laughs> we can't alive. Become, yeah. But isn't that kind of, you know, I never thought about that. But it kind of, you know, I guess it makes sense. But, you know, we almost, the human race almost just almost died off. Almost died off. And I guess we wouldn't know if we weren't here. So. Right. But that's crazy to think about yeah. that it went from 900,000 down to 1280. How different things would have been if it wouldn't have happened. Oh, I know. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. it would just be just a. Yeah, you just, just imagine just, alternate reality. Re <laughs> yeah. Reality. Yeah. Right. So, kind of perspective there. Um, all right. This is kind of cool, too. So, low water levels in Texas, you know, having drought across the country. Is reveal, has revealed some dinosaur tracks. Oh, okay. They're believed to be around 110 million years ago. That's how old mm. they are. Um, this was found south of Dallas, and um, it is it's pretty neat to kind of as you know with these droughts, we are seeing a lot of things, yeah. evidence of dinosaurs um, because you know waters of there's a lack of water but um, it's it's interesting so this is in dinosaur valley state park again south of dallas but 
and this is prior to human existence. It's obviously. prior to human existence, um, so 110 million years ago. I'm glad there are experts <laughs> to look at that and tell me that's a dinosaur track because I would look at it and keep walking. I, I wouldn't think a thing about it. I would. You're right. I would be the same thing. Oh, watch your step. Don't <laughs> break your ankle in the divots there. I mean, yeah, it's neat. I, I yeah. kind of have like, I don't know. I just think dinosaurs. It's so interesting and fascinating to think these huge mm -hmm. beasts roam the world, you know, yeah. at one time. So, and they might have had feathers. They're now saying so. Yeah, I, that's that right. Crazy? It is crazy. These giant chickens. Well, how do they even know that though? I don't, I don't know how it. they know that. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah. All right. So moving on. So. <laughs> Evidently, you know how they've, every year, dictionaries, they update them and add new words. Yeah. So there's about 500 new words this year. Let's it go through every one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so one of them is Nepo Baby. Okay. Have you, I've heard that, I've yeah. never heard of that. Mm -hmm. Can't unsee that. So unsee. unsee. And then coffee nap. Okay, I, okay, so Nepo Baby is a noun. It's a celebrity with a parent who's also famous, especially one who's, industry connections are perceived as yeah. essential to their success so and then unsee i actually thought that this was already a i thought a so too yeah unsee i didn't it's not, yeah, yeah i didn't know that because i say that all the time yeah, unsee something yeah yeah. I, I, yeah and then coffee nap i have never heard of coffee nap mm -mm. but so that means a short nap usually 15 to 30 minutes taken immediately after drinking a cup of coffee our producer Haley mm -hmm. says that she totally takes coffee naps all the time, and she knew what that was. I'd never heard of that. I've never heard of that either. I've heard of Nepo Baby, and of course I thought unsee was that actual mm -hmm. word. But yeah, coffee nap. I don't see how you take a short nap after drinking coffee. It seems like the complete opposite of what yeah, you like would an drink oxymoron. Coffee yeah, right. So but. coffee nap, unsee, and Nepo Baby. Yeah, are we're just gonna have to some of the new try ones. out the coffee nap. I know. I could go for a I don't coffee. Think we can I could go for a coffee nap. A coffee nap. Yeah, we'll try it out this morning. Let you yeah. guys know how it goes. All right. Well, good morning to Dallas, who is watching this yeah. morning. Good morning. Um, and I hope you have a great Thursday as well out there, everybody who is watching. Let's move things over to our seven-day forecast. Today, a high of 94, so not as hot as what we were seeing uh, yesterday, the past two days, actually, but still warm out there. So uh, be sure to take precautions if you go outside. And then it looks like we're cooling off to 80 degrees by Sunday, but we do have a chance of showers and storms from later today all the way through Sunday. We could end up with an inch and a half to two inches of rain, according to meteorologist David Rogers. So a lot of wet weather on the way, and that includes during the UVA JMU game coming up this Saturday. Uh, so make sure you prepare for that if you plan on heading out to that. I hope you guys have a great Thursday out there. We'll see you again on NBC 29 News at noon. And we're always live on NBC29.com.